Hi, welcome to Cooking with Class at Johnson & Wales University College of Culinary Arts. I'm here with one of our past graduates, Brandon Lewis. Brandon, how are you? Very good, how are good. you? Good, welcome. Brandon is the, is the chef at the Genesis Center in Providence. And what is the Genesis Center? The Genesis Center is an adult education center for refugees and immigrants. Oh, I was not, and they're having a function coming up called Food for Thought? Yeah, Food for Thought is um, a, an event, a fundraiser we're having where we're going to have uh, a dozen of Providence's best chefs. Great. Now you're going to make some nice, I love chicken satay. Yeah, this is chicken satay from Indonesia. Uh -huh. And uh, what we're doing is you see we partially cook some chicken that's skewered with uh -huh. skewers we soaked in water yep. so they don't burn. Then we're going to take some organic peanut butter and we just put that in a bowl here. And we mix in a little bit of sweet soy sauce, which you can get in any Asian market. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's heavy. Yeah, it's, it's very tasty. Uh -huh. Then we have some shallots. Yep. And then we have some garlic. And then we have a little bit of chili. That's to taste, of course. If you don't like chili, you don't need it. And you just mix that up. Yep. And the end product is this. Now, what you do with this sauce is you split half up for dinner, and you split half right. up to put on the chicken, because you don't want to do mix that. those. And, then and you just brush it, it on. Wow. And that's all there is to it. Yeah, and finish growing it. Now, where can people get tickets for this brand? Oh, they can, um, <clears throat> they can either call the Genesis Center at 401-781-6110, or go to turnto10.com to get recipes or information. Great. Brandon, thanks so much. Don't forget, he's gonna, Brandon's going to be there. One of our recent grads is the chef at the Genesis Center doing a function called Food for Thought. The chicken satay. Now, that's cooking with class. Welcome to Cooking with Class at Johnson & Wales University College of Culinary Arts. We're doing some really nice food this week. Actually, Indonesian food. I'm here with Chef Brandon Lewis, one of recent grad, actually, and he's the chef at the Genesis Center. Brandon, welcome. How are you? Very good, and you? Good, thanks. And you have a function coming up, Food for Thought. Yeah, we have Food for Thought coming up. It's, um, it's an event where we're showcasing a dozen of Providence's best restaurants. And for the Genesis Center, which is... Um, the Genesis Center is an adult education center for immigrants and refugees. Great. So you've got this Indonesian version of fried rice. Yeah, an Indonesian version of fried rice. Well, uh -huh. we started with some leftover chicken. You could use any leftover meat at the yep. house. Cut up small with some garlic and shallot. Yep. And we're just sauteing it. And then it we're going to... It smells. It smells wonderful. Oh, it does. And the difference between Indonesian fried rice and Chinese is we have shrimp paste that I just okay. added. Yep. You can get that in any Asian market. Mm -hmm. And later on, fish sauce. The next item we add is the rice. That's pretty much all the old cooked fry, uh, the old cooked boiled rice. Leftover rice from okay. last night's satay, mm -hmm. and then we're going to add in some bean sprouts. Yep. A little bit of scallions, and then we add our soy sauce and our fish sauce, which smells real bad, but when you cook it, it tastes wonderful. It does. It really does smell nice. Great, isn't that great? Now, actually, for the for tickets for this event, they call. And they need to call the Genesis Center at 401-781-6110 or go to turn to com. Great. Looking forward, well, looking forward for the event, Brandon. Thanks so much for coming. Actually, it's next Tuesday. This is Brandon's version of the Indonesian fried rice. Now, let's cook it with class. Hi, welcome to Cooking with Class from Johnson & Wales University College of Culinary Arts. I'm here with Chef Brandon Lewis from the Genesis Center. And actually, Brandon's one of our recent grads from Johnson & Wales University. And you're doing a function for the Genesis Center, but the Genesis Center is what? Uh, we're an adult education center um, okay. helping immigrants and refugees. And you got a big event, Food for Thought. Yeah, Food for Thought's coming up. It's, uh, it's an event showcasing a dozen of Providence's best restaurants. And um, it's going to happen at Roger Williams uh, Casino. Oh, wow. Great. And this is a nice, simple salmon dish. Yeah, it's very simple. Um, what we do is we just take some salmon, yep. and we cut two little holes in it, and we take some candy ginger chips that you can buy in any Asian market, mm -hmm. put them inside, then you just drizzle a little honey on them. This is unusual, just drizzling honey and ginger on a piece of salmon. Yeah, and then you just take the salmon, and the honey will spread itself out okay. as it mm -hmm. heats in the pan, skin side down. Yep. I cook it for about a minute on that side, turn it over, and finish it in the oven. And now if people want tickets for this event... They need to call um, either the Genesis Center at 7801-781-6110 or go to turn to 10com And this is, this is a great event. The money benefits the Genesis Center. Yeah. This is a benefit for the Genesis Center. Yes. Okay, great. Brandon, thanks so much. Now, I'm here with Brandon Lewis, one of our recent grads from Johnson Wales University, who is a chef at the Genesis Center doing food for thought. And this is honey ginger salmon. Now, that's cooking with class. Hi, welcome to Cooking with Class at Johnson & Wales University College of Culinary Arts. I'm here this week with one of our Johnson & Wales grads, Brandon Lewis, who is now the chef at the Genesis Center in Providence. And welcome, Brandon. Thank you. This is so. This is really aromatic. And you're here doing 
you know, you're here doing something for the for the Genesis Center, food for thought, and which is. Well, it's, uh, it's an event to benefit the Genesis okay. Center, oh, where great. we're showcasing 12 of uh, Providence's best restaurants. Great, and this really smells great, this, this, this yeah. shrimp dish. What this is, is this is a, a shrimp laksa soup. And okay. what we do is we get some laksa paste, and uh, first you toast that, and then you add some shrimp. Mm -hmm. And you cook the shrimp until it's done all the way. Okay. And when it's finished, you add the mushrooms, okay. Chinese straw mushrooms, yep. or any other mushroom you like. Uh -huh. Then we finish with some shrimp stock. So that's the broth. Yep, this is the broth for the soup. Uh -huh. Crank that up for you. Thank you. And some coconut milk. And once that comes to a simmer, we just add some fish sauce, okay. a little bit of soy sauce, and you can finish it finally with some noodles. Wow, that, I mean, the color is really, really nice yeah. with this. Some bean sprouts and some cilantro. Brain is the chef at the Genesis, and he's going to be there at Food for Thought. At the, where's it going to be held? It's at the uh, Roger Williams Casino. Great, and there's the number? It's 401-781-6110 uh, for the Genesis Center. Or go to turn turntotend.com. Brandon, thank you so much. This is Brandon's Easy Shrimp Laksa. Now that's cooking with class. We'll call it a juice box for grown-ups. Little bottles of wine for one have been around for decades on airplanes, but now comes the wine pouch. They're being sold at some Target department stores. Each one holds the equivalent of a single glass of wine, and you don't need a corkscrew. Welcome to Cooking with Class at Johnson & Wales University College of Culinary Arts. I'm here with Chef Brandon Lewis, who's a chef at the, actually one of our grads, who's a chef at the Genesis Center. And that is in Providence. That's, and you're having a big function coming up, Brandon. Food for Thought? Yeah, Food for Thought. It's um, this Tuesday. Okay. And it's at Roger Williams Park and Casino. And where can they get more information about this event? More information is available at turn turntotend.com or at 401-781-6110. Great. Now, how simple is this? A banana custard. It's an Indonesian banana custard. Okay. And what we do is we start out by, um, we heat up some palm sugar with some coconut milk. Okay. Bring it to a boil. Let it sit at room temperature. Okay. And once it is at room temperature, we take eight eggs we mix them in so he, he just can like bomb this. that right in because it makes it was cold yep because it's nice and cold yep. and then we take a ramekin we line it with bananas yep and then we just pour the custard right in there uh-huh and then we steam it for 20 minutes and with this some is what it looks leaves like on top and these are pandan leaves you yes these are any of your local asian markets yeah they're very fragrant and they make dessert custards taste wonderful yeah that's a beautiful building i mean you get the aroma we're in the kitchen we're making it before yeah brandon Good luck to your son. It's good seeing you again. He did a great job. He's one of Thanks, our chef. students, and now he's the chef at the Genesis Center in Providence. That food for thought coming up on Tuesday uh, at the Rogers Park Casino. Yep. Right, good. See you there. This is his Indonesian banana custard. Now, that's cooking with class.